Uh, oh, I used Great Scythe. That was actually kind of silly of me. Because yeah, if I actually let Great Scythe go all the way, right, then we don't have our, our permanent cancels into our big heavy anymore. And it just feels like we're a completely different character. Alrighty, V-Link gamers, we're back. We, I think, are done with the main story, though we still got the little yellow, uh, you know, quest markers there, so maybe we're in some sort of epilogue here. But, you know, you know how it is. Uh, last episode was the climactic finale. We went through Chapter 9 and 10, uh, to my understanding, or I think so, yeah, yeah. We, because uh, Chapter 10 was just a quick one, right? Uh, it, well, merged with Bahamut? Well, not our Bahamut, though. Bahamut Versa, some sort of alternate reality version of the god or something like that anyways it was, it was a lot of fun we we had our, our big anime fights and all that it was a great time uh and now well everything is sort of settled in the sense that you know ids is he's back in the fold lilith's done for uh everything everyone's safe except roland seems to be stuck in an alternate dimension so uh, maybe this epilogue that's what this is all about but we'll see we'll see caring man here wants to talk to us but uh real quick you know how it is at the beginning of each of the, these episodes i tend to Wants to ooh, obtain the hard quest difficulty to unlock. Interesting. I don't know what that means. But yeah, just you know, quickly go through uh, our, our masteries here. Fill out anything with any extra points we might have. Oh, it's getting it's getting expensive now, isn't it? Damn. Uh, we, let's let's go for this side then. Get some crit rate and all that. Uh, yeah, we're and then we're we're fresh out. Unfortunately, there's also the collection ones here. Uh, oh yeah, that reminds me. Can we uncap any of our weapons? I feel like. Maybe we've run into some refinium or something in our in our late game story adventures here. Uh, like, so we have the cosmic scythe right there, for example. Oh, we do. Oh, we don't have any griffin feathers. Interesting. We do have some quality refinium though. Hold on, hold on. I'm pretty sure if we go talk to our good friend Sierra here, I'm pretty sure she's got some griffin feathers for us. Well, maybe. Can we can we trade for for one possibly? Um, bum 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 bum. Griffin feathers are somewhere. Treasure. So, oh, she's got sigils. Interesting. This is new. Awesome. Uh, am I a silly little Billy? Where is it? Oh, there they are. Oh, we don't have any red hot cactus. Wild. Okay, never mind. So we can't get the griffin feather. No uncapping for us. It's okay. Surely, we don't need it for now. It's okay. Well, well once we once we get to the post game proper, we can just start, you know, collecting all of those materials and doing as we please. Well, let's see what Caring Man has to say here. I remember Caring Man. If you guys don't remember Caring Man, you're not real like me. Oh, yeah, right. Yes. So, there, right, this is, uh, goblins have attacked some sort of shipment or something like that. So, I suppose we went from fighting gods to fighting goblins, but it's equally important. Just because the fate of the world isn't on the line, this is still an important shipment for, uh, Folka here, so. Let's play as Id. Oh. Interesting. Okay, I guess he is. Yeah, Id did say he was, uh, basically going to try and sub in as Mr. Fixit for Folka. While, uh, you know, Roland is hopefully only temporarily absent. So, interesting. Uh, well, how the hell does... How do, how do you work? Okay, so you got you. You have Reagan level, which is interesting. You got what looks like the equivalent of Great Scythe, the Grinoth. Got you. Uh, okay. Yeah, one of those. That looks uh, familiar. Someone... Oh, yeah, that's like... Siegfried has one of those in Rising. That's why it looks familiar to me. Uh, and then he's got <laughs> never enough. Interesting. Restores its HP based on the damage he dealt. Okay, okay. What's your, like, special mechanic? Soul Link. Oh yeah, he's right. He's a dragon. Allows it to enter dragon form upon attacking with heavy once the Versalis gauge is full. Landing specific Y attacks and Link attacks fills up the gauge. Yeah, probably the ones at the end of your command list. Yep. 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 Okay. Well, we're not gonna. We're not really going to uh, min max our id gameplay here, but uh, we'll just do our best. We'll depart and go from there. Okay. Sky Worm Valley. It is a swordsman who has overcome his harsh fate imposed upon him. Indeed. Good for him. He overwhelms his opponents with the power of destruction. Yeah, okay. Uh, extra poor on combos or Y to lunge at a foe. His Y is also chargeable. Hey, a man after my own heart. Okay. Landing a charged Y attack or following up with a Y attack fills the Versalis gauge. Once the gauge is full, it enters dragon form, enhancing his attacks. Right. Yeah. He turns into yeah, literally a giant dragon. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Recover the supplies. Sounds simple enough. You got it. Combat's your forte, isn't it? Yeah, the talking to people, uh, maybe not Id's strongest suit, but hitting things really hard with his giant berserk gut sword, uh, it seems to be something he's quite good at. Now, I'm not going to be very good at doing it with him, but hopefully his skill can uh, fill in 
the blanks. Gobbers, huh? Why are these gobbers like higher level than Bahamut Versa? What the hell are these? What are these combo routes? Okay. Did I just break his shield? I don't think I've ever done that. What the hell? Uh, I want to do this. Never enough. Okay, yeah, he just, it, it actually is just they charge, he charges at somebody and beats the hell out of them. Um, okay, so can I just like charge up? I see. Yeah, yeah, this is the move he does when he's a boss. Interesting. Yeah, he just kind of... Okay, but you can't charge. I, I was wondering, is there like maybe multiple levels of charge? But no. Interesting. Uh, Regan Lowe. Interesting. Yes, uh, he's, uh, he's a, he's a, he feels weird. Like his, the fact that some of his, uh, some of his light attacks are just him like punching, not even using the swords. There you go. But now he. Inter okay, so yeah, yeah. So it's it's four hits, or we could do three hits and then a heavy and then another heavy, or we can just do a heavy. Let's stab this guy in the face. There you go. These goblins are awfully tanky. I tell you what. How's uh, how? Oh, there's the, okay. The, there's the Versa gauge there, right? That's filling up. Yeah, so we, we either charge heavies or end combos in heavies, and yeah, now we are a giant dragon. I mean, this is pretty cool, isn't it? And this explains why some of his attacks don't use his sword, right? Like what used to be punch attacks are now claw attacks. Let's move on. Can't be that bad, can it? Okay, so we stay in here for a limited amount of time, basically, until the gauge... Uh... Oh, we have different skills? What the hell? Okay. I did not. So we still have Reagan Lay, but it's just a lot better now. Never enough. Oh, it's also just one big attack now instead of a bunch of small ones. Interesting. So what's Scourge? Oh! Oh, that's Scourge. Okay. I, I, I see you, it. I was not familiar with your game. My bad. What does he do? Oh, he's Vegeta. Oh my god. That's an interesting combo. Okay, the last, the last big laser there missed, though, I think. Wait, no, I want to be a dragon again. It was so cool. That's nice. It's got some really good vertical reach to it. All right. We can just do... Okay, I guess we can just do Y combos to just use the sword. He's not doing a lot of damage, I tell you what. Or at least maybe these wyverns are just incredibly tanky. Hard to say. Uh, bonk. Nice. Oh, we're, we're almost in dragon mode. There you go, that should do it. We got a, yeah, a free Reagan Lev there, too. While we're at it. Oh, are all of the charged heavy finishers just him doing this barrage? Guys, I could have sworn I did one. Yeah, it is, okay. That's that's always his charged heavy finisher in this in this form. You got Reagan Lev, nerd. Uh, get never enough, nerd. I do like that, right? It's the fact that it's one hit. It makes it a lot better DPS. Wait, I thought I already got the stuff we came for. Let's go. I guess we only got some of the stuff. He's an astral. I mean, I suppose. But also, again, like once once we learn that he is, uh, you know, quite literally an astral, I think that makes this make a lot more sense, right? Not part of the brief, not part of our problem. <laughs> Rock him. I think it's going to make itself our problem pretty soon. But, but yeah, it's like you really, do you really want to be a goblin fighting... Astraeus himself. Let's take it out oh. What are you doing here? You just all alone? You don't got no 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 buddies? No friends? No bitches even, as it were? Alright. This little fortitude crystal and some rupees. Oh, okay, not just a little fortitude crystal and some rupees. Hornbirds. That's just not very family friendly. Alright, wonderful. Yeah, I do like Unbound. I think um, of a lot of Id skills, Unbound feels very useful to me. It does good damage. It's got it's got like decent, uh, well, very good reach. Right, reach is very high up. It goes pretty far too. Oh, I had to jump, but I have the skills tab open. Um, yeah, I I'm pretty I'm pretty uh, pretty much a big fan of it. I don't like his combo routes though. I will say, I feel like his skills a lot of like Reagan Lev is Reagan Lev. Scourge is an AOE. That's okay. Never enough is interesting, but I feel like his combo routes feel weird to me. And in Dragon Mode, oh. It doesn't sound very, you know, redeemed of you. You're gonna have to, you have to start sounding a little less scary if you want people to trust you as Mr. Fixit there. Also, apparently this guy is just like stronger than me straight up. So that's good to know, I guess. 
One of these. Little Reagan Lev action. Little Scourge action. Little Link attack action. And suddenly, you still have over half your HP left. I'm not a fan, but I guess I'm doing my best. There you go, this will help. But yeah, in Dragon Mode, the fact that every follow-up is just this, it feels really weird. This is like, yeah, it's so slow, and then by the time you actually manage it, people might be like, out of the way. I don't like his heavy attacks in Dragon Mode. Yeah, honestly, his light, that, this is way better. That, now, this, now, we're talking, right? This, like, spamming like this, that's really cool, and that's like, that feels like good DPS. But his, uh, his heavies are not very good in Dragon Mode, in my opinion. Uh, what's up, guys? Erish. They are definitely running from something. They looked panicked, to say the least. Bonk, 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 bonk. A witch doctor. They have a healer. Surely this will go without a hitch, and nothing will show up to try and blow us in half, right? What do you guys think? I think so. Oh. <laughs> Sierra does like rhyming, doesn't she? My sense of humor is far less pun reliant. What's wrong with a pun? Get it. Something humorous just now. Oh, it. Nothing, it. Don't break your brain over a little joke. He'll take some time. Oh, he looks at the, his portrait looked like genuinely uh his portrait looks like genuinely sad, no? That's okay. He'll he'll figure it out. He just has to spend some more time amongst the living, the regulars. Uh what are we doing here? Quick scourge couldn't hurt. Oh. That's not, uh, what's it called? That's not as big of an AoE as I thought it would be. Oh, man. Uh, never enough, I guess. Yeah, why not? Get the break gauge built up a bit. I do like the lifesteal built into that. I don't think there's any reason to not just spam id skills, right? He doesn't have, like, an arts gauge or anything, like the captain. Oh! I was just looking for some of you. I need to upgrade, uh, I need to uncap my scythe. Man, okay. Well, it's a, it's a black griffin. We have not seen one that looked so, uh... Let's say menacing. Nobody Goblin Eater? That a That's a scary name. His name is Goblin Eater. I'm just gonna do this, I guess. Dead weight. This, this doesn't like instantly fill our gauge up, does it? Yeah, okay. I thought maybe that would also just give us dragon install for free, but no. Yeah, so it looks like in light mode or in like non-dragon mode, I just want to be doing heavies all the time. And then in dragon mode, I want to be doing lights all the time. Very strange. Get scourged, nerds. Get never enough while you're at it. Uh, Arcadia, I guess. And one of these. Let's just do all the skills, right? Again, I don't see a reason not to. And now we just do this. Yep. Now we can like roll cancel the end of that uh, that last little uh, drop there that he does. Bloodthirst. This is cheating. Uh, yeah, 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 way ahead of you. Oh, he's, is he faster than normal? Or is that just, am I, am I tripping? I feel like I might be tripping. He's summoning a little, oh, look at the little tornadoes. Oh, okay, they're not little. My bad. I was not familiar with your game. It feels like he's faster than Vassaraga, but maybe, uh, is, is like dash speed actually a thing? Like our different characters, they have different dash speeds in this game? Or is it standardized? I'm, I'm not, I'm not quite certain. Rock him, no. All right, little Reagan Lev action, little never enough action. Does this still heal us? Yes, it does. It's just way faster now. Yeah, everything about him is really good in Dragon Stance, except for his heavies. I don't, I don't get it. Maybe I, maybe I'm missing something with the heavies though. Maybe they're better than I'm giving them credit for. Bonk, bonk. Oh, the wit, the feathers, right? Oh, it's not gonna work out like that. I see. Why did that charge heavy look different than the other ones? Yeah, like, why, why did he do, a, a, like, a bunch of attacks there instead of just... Exactly. I guess maybe we can keep hitting heavy during the launch combo? No? No, I don't know. That heavy was uh, definitely more slashes than before. I'm uncertain as to why. Uh, well, get slash nerd. Get never enuffed. There you go. Get some of that health that you uh, took from me back. Oh, man. Okay, is he gonna come down ever? I would like for him to come down. Okay, Reagan Lev hit, at least. This is like nothing I can do. We have to wait out his overdrive, I guess? I mean, we can still hit him, but it's just like the uh, the DPS is not ideal. Let's do some air combos, I guess. That's, that's, that's not so bad, right? We can we can live. We can get through with that. Okay. I can't see the guy. Uh, bonk, 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 bonk. And, yeah, okay, this actually is not so bad. 
You see, he's not, like, staying so high that we can't do anything. And there you go. Doesn't even matter anymore. He has been broken. Okay, so, it's, like, charging this heavy what I want to do. It doesn't really seem that way. Maybe just doing the regular, like, the uncharged version. Seems like, yeah, exactly, a faster way to get into Dragon Stance. Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. Oh, I like... Okay, so he really does just go as far as he needs to, huh? Yeah, I'm a big fan of, uh... Of Dragon Form Id, for sure. Outside of his heavy attack. Yeah, and then we can dodge cancel this, and then just, yeah, go right back to spamming. You'll have to see it. It doesn't do a ton of, uh, break, this stuff, but... I guess the heavies are good for some range, but then this one... Oh, it does? Okay, okay, that has more range than I gave it credit for. Okay, okay. I missed the first time when I sent it at the Goblin, which is why I was confused. But I guess it has more range than I originally thought. Let's do this before he goes into Bloodthirst. Bonk, bonk. I mean, I don't know if he will again, but this at least can... Uh, we can get some staggers on him in the meantime. Alrighty. Spamming. I love spamming. Uh, there's Bloodthirst. Oh, no one else had their Skybound darts back? What's up, guys? I, I just realized, yeah, we didn't do any chaining of- Oh my god, I got Wombo Combo. That's wild. We didn't do any chaining of any kind, I just realized. Why did I get my Skybound gauge back so much faster than everyone else? Is because I was landing more hits, maybe? Oh no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Recover, recover! Okay, perfect. Perfect timing. Alright. I need those Griffin Feathers. Daddy needs a new Scythe. Come on, just give it up. Just get scourged. And admit defeat. He is pretty sticky, huh? With never enough. What is he doing? Okay. Good thing I did not wait around to find out. Oh, okay. My bad. My bad. Got a little too uh, attached to the idea of hitting him with a heavy. Does hitting this charge heavy, does this increase Versa Gauge? Oh, okay. I guess I'll never find out. Just kidding. I'll find out right now. Okay, I guess I will never find out. Indeed. I was right. I actually can't hit him. I've been like trying to hit him with this one attack. Okay. Maybe I, I didn't charge it up a ton there, but maybe not. Excuse me. I, I Wow. I think I've actually never missed one attack this much in a row before. It's okay. I was trying to learn. Uh, I was trying to. I was looking at the. I was trying to hit the heavy gauge basically and figure out, hey, is it like filling up, or the heavy attack and figuring out if, is it filling up Versa or is it only the uh, combo enders? And it looks like it might only be the combo enders, but it's hard to say. Anyway, dragon time. Let's hit him with every single skill at once. That should be enough to take him down, I think. Yep. Put some burn on him. Put some never enough on him. There you go. Yeah, it is nice that going into Dragon Form seems to give you all of your cooldowns back, basically. So, you get to, you know, use all your cooldowns to get into Dragon Form. Uh, get into Dragon Form and then use all of them again immediately afterwards. <laughs> that sure was an adventure. Mission. I mean... Mission complete. Now to bring the items back to the client. Yeesh, you're all business, huh? He'll learn, he'll learn. Give him some time. Go easy on him. He's still new to all this. Exactly my point. Knickknack vouchers. Knickknack vouchers. I don't think I've ever I don't think I've ever seen a knickknack voucher. How interesting. Sierra is the gotcha of this game. I see. No problem, dog. Uh yeah, you should be you know I, yeah, let's 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 put in a good word. Would make a great Mr. Fix It until Roland comes back. He fixed it, didn't he? I'd be a fool if I turned down someone who's garnered your seal of approval. Just don't be weird, Id. At least do your best to be as well, not weird as possible. If you kept serving our city, and I'm sorry that I ever doubted. No, it's okay. Like it's understandable, right? You literally didn't know the guy. I mean, I don't think he. I don't think Caring Man is aware of Id's history either. But like, like some skepticism it was warranted. But you're you're good now. There you go. Well, that is the being weird part. We need to keep Lyria around, man. We need to like leave her here as like a translator for it. Uh, yeah. He's a little. He means well. Well, she spent a long time with him. Incredible. I guess yeah. I guess we do only say. Tough to think of it. I never, I never th thought of this because the the captain speaks a lot in like, uh, you know, between chapters and things like that. Uh, but it's it's only talking to us, right? I guess we've only said like twenty five words or something since the beginning of the story uh, to other characters. 
Uh, sure, I speak plenty. I think. I speak plenty. I think. Mm -mm. Don't worry about it. You know what they say. Silence is golden. Indeed. Exactly. I I could learn a thing or two. Talk the talk. But you certainly walk the walk. I know this city will be safe in your hands. That's good. Yeah, so it is fixed, Mr. Fix It now. Are we not going to is there is this epilogue not gonna to co cover the idea of you know maybe getting Roland back or is he just going to be in kind of a question mark phase for a while here? No worries, let's make Roland proud. Indeed. We owe that guy our lives. The least we could do is help him with the housekeeping. I mean, again, I hopefully he should be fine. Yep. Not to mention we even found this journal. Talk about a clinky thing. Yeah, I still don't want to. I want to read that. You know, maybe when Roland's back, but surely, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure he'll be fine with it. it. Truly Oh, well, they're doing it anyway. His memories are Never mind. These pages. He must have been super busy putting out fires to drop this and not even notice. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Our boy Roland sounds exactly like the type to have his head in the clouds. No, that's fair, but also, you know, the whole world-ending threat that he was trying to fix for this past week or so. Well, I... If we keep running errands, maybe we'll find more of his belongings. Interesting. Point. He just drops everything, huh? We get Roland's journal, we get his watch, we get his, his, his you know, his coattails. Speaking of his footsteps, Id, if I may, there's one point I would like to emphasize. Is she gonna tell him to stop being so threatening? Skill wasn't the only reason Roland was so yeah. beloved. There was also the way he carried himself. How gentle he was. Yeah, but this is the uh, don't be so weird, please, Id. I'd ask Roland for directions in a heartbeat. On the other hand... You always look like you just sniffed a garbage can. He's also, he's, he takes, it takes time to just reacclimate into regular society. It's okay. So what should I do? He does look like he just, look, I mean, like he's got like the permanent uh, furrows there between his two eyes. Hmm, you could try smiling more. Uh oh. Okay. Dangerous rhetoric. Uh, 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 uh. uh He's, he's trying. I appreciate it. Um. It's not, it's not going to be good, is it? Just leave it to Mr. Fix it. Mr. Fix it. I, mm, I, I hate how much I love that. I can't, I can't wait for this. Just leave it to Mr. Fix it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that the smile only comes online once he's done talking. Uh, wow. It's gonna he's gonna take some time. He's gonna take some time, okay? He's doing I I do like that he's trying. We've got a long way to go. It's it's admirable. But yeah, it's uh that was somewhat well, horrendous. Skybound Heart, chapter not quite an age journal. Um another one. Okay, well, you know what? We'll we'll, we'll read that. Maybe if, if we're supposed to read all of these, we should uh, definitely hold on. Here's the um, the word's gonna come to me. We'll do it in the story corner. There you go. That's what I meant to say. Oh, okay. Now we 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 cleared Mister Fixit, new Mister Fixit. So now we're a veteran Skyfair. You may now join online quests of the following difficulty: hard, very hard, and extreme. Hard quest difficulty been unlocked, giving you new quests to challenge. We've also got a crewmate card, a heliotrope urn, and a bunch of fortitude crystals. Interesting. People's trust in it has opened up new requests. Be sure to help out the Zegagrande uh, Zega Grande Sky Dwellers. Okay. So bad. What's next? Finish the jobs Roland started. So this looks like perhaps a little bit of mandatory side questing, if I dare say so myself. Uh, let's id. I appreciate your your Mr. Figs id nature. You know, in fact, um, do I want to replace Catalina? You know, what? let's let's uh, let's let's replace the the captain. There you go. No. Oh uh, well, maybe not. Leave it to the captain. I just like I, I, I okay. I'm sorry, Catalina. You have my Be gone. It it is a little bit cooler than you, unfortunately. It's a shame we can only bring four, but you know we can only bring four. Yeah, so this looks like some mandatory side questing to me. I don't know about you guys, uh, which is I mean this sounds post gamey to me, right? The whole veteran Skyfarer thing. Uh, well, I guess real quick, let's let's we this is going to be a little bit uh some housekeeping to do here, so we might as well we got some side quests we can turn in. Well, let's do that while we're here. You know, in this is we got this uh, this golem finger side quest in episode one, I think, uh, and we just never handed it in. Oh, yeah, this is the kid who wanted the Wii pincer way back in the day. Here you go, little guy. Here's your cra crabby resonance. Interesting. Uh, miracle mushrooms. Yes, yeah, guy. Uh, another, again, all of these quests we got in like episode one, right? 
Here's a world room for you, good fellow. The, the, I mean, the, the rewards are relatively pitiful because exactly we got them so far. But oh, okay, and then some of these are in uh, Seed Hollow, New York, as it were. All right, all right. Well, there's some side quests. But yes, uh, finish the jobs that Roland started. Why? Well, don't mind if I do. Is there one, which one of these guys was the closest? Can we go to him? Oh, okay. We can't go now because I was like the Golden Finger guy is right next to the uh, the Alliance board there, the quest board. Oh, this is cute. I'm gonna like tra they're training. And uh, they got the the draft there, looking over them. Very fun. Uh, do we got uh, we ha we have to have gotten some Griffin feathers from beating up that Griffin, right? I know his name was Goblin Eater technically, but come on, more forgeable weapons. Well, hold on a minute. Uh, Soul Eater crit hit rate, and then Alsarav is stun power. Interesting. Uh, it does more damage. This has crit rate. Well, we can't we can't actually forge any of them right now. Uh, I suppose for the time being. Since we have, could we uncap for the Cosmic Scythe? Yes. Yeah. And we have one more quality refining anyway. Again, we'll, we'll, we'll come across a lot of these materials, I'm sure. For now, let's just get to level 75 and level it up all the way, hopefully. We should have a lot of Fortitude Crystals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're using all 39 of our mediums? I'm sure that's no problem. Uh, nice. Wow, we, we like doubled the attack from the weapon there. Dragon Scales, Griffin Feathers, and Quality Refinium, and three Champion Merits. Interesting. Okay, okay. Well... There's a, there's a weapon set to a much higher standard of quality. Uh, oh, yeah, right. We have collection masteries now, right? Which, so theoretically, because that's higher level now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have these. So we'll want to, we'll want to forge and upgrade every weapon eventually for Vasaraga anyways. Because even if we don't have them equipped, right, these collection masteries will still give us bonuses. So it's, it's very worthwhile. Okay. Uh, for now, I guess it's, it's uh, side quest in time, right? Finish the jobs that Roland started. Uh, let's see, actually, those are. Let's see if we can actually pick up any real side quests nearby. They're there. I'll, I'll, I'll go around and grab them probably off camera. Let's not spend too much time uh, wandering around town. Unlocking more difficult quests. Keep clearing quests that have the cross swords. Yeah, I was like, is that an X? No, it's two cross swords. To unlock more challenging quests, the quick quest feature allows you to depart on a random quest that you've unlocked. Clearing a quick quest awards Dahlia badges. Trade them to Sierra for valuable items. What a strange idea. So it just you you do some random quest and that gives you these tradables. Yeah, we should go to CR real quick and see before we go. When playing quick quest online powers, your stats may be adjusted if your power greatly exceeds the advised power. Moreover, using gold badge tickets grants bonus gold badges. Sure. Okay. So yeah, they don't let you just stomp them necessarily when you're doing quick quests. Uh, and then chapter select, we can replay the story chapters. Okay. Okay. Well, let us uh, quickly go to CRO and see what if anything's new there. But yeah, then we'll we'll do a few quests here. Then it can act shack. Hello. Trade Dahlia badges for items, right? These are from the quick quests and come in gold and silver. Uh, Knickknack vouchers are required to transmute to new sigils. You can trade treasure and sigils to Sierra Cart for vouchers. Knickknack vouchers are used as a Knickknack shack to obtain new sigils at random. It's a gotcha. Yep. So, ha all right, hold on. There's a lot of stuff here. So treasure trade, this is what we, we had before, right? Rafaeli coins and other materials. We can trade them in for, for different stuff, right? We can get that great shield fragment, for example, that we need uh, to forge one of Voss's new weapons. This all makes sense, right? Mithril wheel. What the heck? Cool. Uh, and then we can trade the Dahlia badges, which we have none of. And you trade them for some pretty nice stuff, I see. Okay, so like this is, I mean, obviously this is not great, but like compared to what we had before, like this is already better than any sigils we've ever had, right? In terms of level four there. Uh, and you can also yeah, trade them for a lot of the stuff that you can trade. Rafaeli coins and stuff for. Gotcha. And then gold. Ambrosia. What the hell are you? You need 30 restocks every Sunday at 12 midnight, huh? So she only has one right now. Uh, but yeah, so it's a legendary fruit that confers mastery points. Oh, damn, I did not read that. Okay, so this is just, so that's infinitely farmable mastery points. This is XP uh, for gold dolly badges. Got you. Crewmate cards. Interesting. Okay. So she has, oh, no, she has, no, we, we hold zero. Yeah, but she has one of one and one of three there, for example. Interesting. Knickknack vouchers. Glitter crystal clusters. These are like, this is like a ton of rupees, basically, right? Yeah, yeah. And then fortitude, medium fortitude crystals. Gotcha. And then the knickknack vouchers themselves, which we have none of right now. Uh, trade unwanted items for vouchers. Trade sigils for vouchers. Trade right stones for vouchers. But then, and then transmute sigils. Okay, this is where we use the vouchers. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, I'm acquainting myself. This is going to be a, uh, a rotation there that we are probably going to get very familiarized with over time, but. 
yes, yes. But yeah, it's 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 good. It's good to just I'm, I'm taking a quick overview of all of these things at Sierra at Sierra's shop. For now, I imagine. Uh, well, we got lots of. I mean, I haven't done since you guys watched me do the Quackadile and Goblin side quests in like episode two. I have not done a single one. I did the Quackadile one again very quickly uh, just to test something, and I got you know. So then what I mentioned was gear checking me earlier. I, I killed him in like 10 seconds, so that was great. But otherwise, uh, no no, no such side quest undertaking. Uh, so quick, how does quick quest work? You may randomly join a quest between easy and hard difficulty. Okay, okay. I don't... And is this the kind of thing that only works online? Or can you quick quest... Well, we'll try a quick quest in a second. Let's let's do the ones that are related to the story for now. Uh, so there's one here in Einstedo Archipelago that is... Oh, they're hard missions. Cool. Defeat Hornbirds and Wyverns. Gotcha. Advise power 3000. We're there, so that's great. Uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. It's a horde mission. Not my favorite. I do like the boss fights, I think, a little bit more than just fighting a bunch of little guys, but they're all valid, I suppose. Don't enter critical condition. Defeat 60 foes with an ether cannon. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so we're going to be on the ship, yeah, on the Grand Cypher. Clear within three minutes, and then we get champion merits, fortitude crystals, tail fins. I assume this is also, these are like random to an extent, right? And probably you get more. Uh, more slash the better stuff, depending on your ranking as well. You get a gold badge ticket. Interesting. Ticket that awards additional Dahlia badges after a quick quest. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, so no, those are rewards. Those are probably guaranteed. Drop items might be more random. And then foes, yeah, that are weak to rock them. Interesting. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well, let's go. Uh, we'll do closed for now. Eventually, you know, I, I want to be uh, doing some quests, maybe with some of you guys, maybe with uh, some of my buddies too, right? But for now, we'll just we'll stick with our little AI party here. Um, yeah, let's let's go rule the skies. This is the part. This is the, the fun part, right? This is the part that I was... I mean, the story was honestly really enjoyable. But just, like, getting to just go through and the, the core gameplay loop of this game and, like, the combat and things like that, I find very enjoyable. So the fact that now it's just like, all right, go do a uh, crap ton of missions. I am not going to be bothered by that whatsoever. Uh, skill icons. Yes, yes, yes. We know all of this. This will be a nice warm-up. Yeah. Man, I love Vasaraga's voice so much. All right, what's what's going on? Where so here, where's our where's my ether cannon? I want to shoot someone. Oh, don't mind if I do. Uh huh. Does, it does no damage. Roll it. Your ether cannons? They suck. How am I how am I supposed to defeat sixty people with this? It can't even take one wyvern out in a, in a decent amount of time. Okay, so now I assume I've I've waited. I've let him go on too long. Yeah, now we have to we have to take care of him ourselves. Which was honestly, yeah, block hook in the ether cannon. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I guess all the little ones. Let's let's farm this side objective here. We just have to make sure to not overheat. Oh, it's got an AOE explosion. I didn't even notice. Okay, okay, the charge shot is definitely pretty good then. Don't mind me. Just AOEing you guys. Over. Wonderful. Wonder what, I mean, I, I can guess what that means, but I wonder if that, you know, has any real impact on stuff. Okay, okay, there's 17 kills. Come on. Get direct to nerds. Uh, where are the rest of the wyverns? Here you are. Hello. Bonk. Uh, excuse me, sir. Give a moment to speak about our lord and savior. Great Scythe Greenoff. I'm unfortunately not, Vern. Are right, they coming from this side again? Are they coming from the other side now? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh this side. Wait, where are the little guys? I need little guys for my objective. They're killing me here. This guy barely even gave me a chance to shoot him. Okay, okay, maybe this one will be more productive. Nope, no, nope, neither one. Uh, well, not a not a great day to be an ether cannon, unfortunately. They didn't uh, they didn't get much done there, but it's okay. Bonk. And bonk. So nice, nice and easy, man. It does feel good to be playing Vasaraga again. I liked it, but it was it felt uncomfortable. I was not used to it. Nice, nice. This is so funny. Yeah, it's, like, it's actually just like a little uh, a little carnival game, right? You have to aim the charge shot in the middle to hit the most possible people with the AoE. You can keep charging it, huh? Today I learned. Babe, this full charge is probably a one-shot on the little guys. Yeah, yeah. So we should be definitely be doing that. Wait, wait, one more, one more! Nice. Got a bunch of them. And then this jerk will probably make it to the ship, but it's okay. We're, we're at 36 out of 60. They're within three minutes. Wait, hold on a minute. Okay, well, I mean... This is the kind of thing, you know, once once we go back and, and level up a little bit, we'll probably be able to do that a little bit more easily. But, like, even just the time it took them to spawn in. Like, it, didn't, it didn't feel like we took a super long time to kill them. It's just there's, like, three minutes. Well, we're at three minutes here, and it's just, like, them spawning in took, like, two of us. Anyways. 
Let's get some big explosions going. And one of those on the way in. Perfect. Hit. Come down. Get down here. Ow. Oh, we need Stout Heart, right? I didn't even have it active. Yeah, we've, 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 hit, we've done so few charge heavies. Oh, we didn't even have Stout Heart ready there. Bomb. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, if you can hear that clicking sound in the background, there's something a little messy with my computer right now. I'll do my best to uh, turn it down in, in post. But yeah, I think there's uh, there's like a cable caught in one of the fans or something. Bonk. Hopefully that can be fixed soon. But in the meantime, whenever the, the CPU goes a little bit harder and the fans spin up a bit more, they tend to uh, have that little clicking noise there. Again, hopefully, the, the, the best case scenario is I find out a good way to just make it so that uh, in, uh, I do something about it in editing and you have no idea what I'm talking about. So. If, if you don't know what I'm talking about right now, then that's perfect. Then we consider that a, a victory. If you do, hopefully it's at least not too loud. Anyways, back to Bonks. You got Rex nerd. Uh, oh, I used Great Scythe. That was actually kind of silly of me. Because yeah, if I actually let Great Scythe go all the way, right, then we don't have our, our permanent cancels into our big heavy anymore. And it just feels like we're a completely different character. And then, yeah, someone did tell me that the Link skill also gives us the same charge heavy. So there's no need to... No! I'm late. I have to go. Get shot at, nerds. Big charge. Yes, it is a one-shot. That's good. I don't think we'll get 60, though. I think I, I think I might have done... If this is the last wave, I think I did a boo-boo. Does it work from here? Can I, like... Wait. Oh, I was like, maybe I can I can tease this a little bit, you know? And uh, and just, like, shoot them even though they're already on the ship. If I just met their face with the, uh, the bullet. But unfortunately, it seems that... Well, maybe that would have worked, but I didn't quite get the chance to actually do it. All right, well, let's let's do this. This is uh, some some decent AOE, I suppose. Get rid of a bunch of wyverns at once. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, we didn't quite get 60, unfortunately. We didn't enter critical condition at all, so that's good. But yeah, the uh, the time limit and the, I mean, if I had learned about uh, the bigger charge shots earlier on, that probably would have been good. But it's okay. 20x overkill gave us a bunch of resources. Oh, I see, I see. So that's the point of uh, them there overkills. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, so, you know, it's fine. I, I might go back and again, we're not gonna do uh, eight, unless, unless like once we get to the point where there's no new quests to do and we are actually just like, you know, grinding for resources, we might have a couple episodes dedicated to that. But for now, while there's still like tons and tons of side quests to get done, uh, we're probably not going to be re replaying very many of them unless I'm like, you know, I, I have a vendetta against whatever just happened to me. For now, we'll, we'll take our A rank we'll, and we'll go home. We'll take our ball and go home, as it were. Uh, yeah, so I think we didn't get... No, we did get all the rewards listed, I think. Yeah, but then drop items we got less of? Maybe, I don't know. Again, I don't know if your... Does your ranking affect your ability or how, like, the drops, right? Yeah, well, there you go. Yes, a champion will. So I guess it actually says straight up, right? We got this. We got one champion merit for B and one champion merit for A and probably would have gotten more stuff for S and S plus and S plus plus and things like that. But I guess these are guaranteed, which is good. That's good. Uh, all right. Interesting. Well, we can also repeat the quest right away, but we don't need to do that. We'll just go back to town. Probably do, I mean, depending on the, the length of the quests, we might do one or two more, and then we'll, we'll head to our story corner there, but... Yeah, I think it's this is this is going to be fun, I think, just playing these uh, these side quests. Wait. Finish two of eight. I, I could have sworn we just did one. I, I also started a two, and eight, of, uh, two of eight, which I found to be kind of strange. Yeah, we definitely did one just now. And there's only five remaining. So I think this thing is just not updated successfully. But that's fine. That is its right. As long as this stuff, there's there's fewer of the cross sword ones, and then we know that we're on the right track, right? Um, let's fight a boss. Delts of our lives. Say what now? Defeat the goblin warrior. Oh, uh, I see. Survival. I've never said what 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 kind of quest type is that? Interesting. You get sigils from this? Yeah, first clear rewards is a health three sigil. Okay. Not something I'm super interested in, but it's fine. Below advised power. That's fine. I think we'll be okay. Uh, bro, you won't believe what I saw. A goblin warrior. It's Skyworm Valley. Had the biggest delts I've ever seen. <laughs> Man, I'm jonesing for another look. I got eagle eyes, so I won't get close. But would you pick a fight with him so I can get my muscle fix? Thanks, bro. No problem, bro. Whatever you say, bro. Oh, it's the muscle connoisseur. I remember this guy. It's the it's the draft. Yeah, yeah. He was uh, in Tempio. We saved him from some goblins. I remember this guy. Clear within eight minutes, then enter critical condition more than once, and clear within four minutes. Okay, well, we'll do our best. This is just a, it's a good old-fashioned boss fight, right? So we're just going to try and hit him very hard and, and go from there. We have some masteries to spend, so uh, why not do that, I guess, while we're here? Um, Link 
Skybound Darts, boost attack power, unlocks a new sigil slot. Wait, oh, okay, well, actually, no, I do kind of want that. Yes. Why why, why, why you make that noise, boss? Now we can get all of these. Uh, faster cooldowns and link time again. We already have this. I mean, eventually, is this, this is just going to be like... I, I assume these are stacking multiplicatively, then, not additively. Because two of these already means, if it was additive, it would be minus 50% plus minus 50%, which is minus 100, right? And then that would just be no skill cooldowns at all during link time? Is that the case? Maybe, maybe. Uh, oh, okay, and then, yeah, this is boosting certain skills, and then we go down paths. Great Scythe. I actually don't care about this. Well, I don't care about the actual skill Great Scythe, because I usually don't let it rip, but it's fine. Uh, Nether Wrath, Damnation. Yeah, okay, I see. It's boosting a lot of the different skills. Okay, okay, well, anyways, that's our, our Mastery Sword for now. Let's go punch a goblin in the face, hopefully, anyway. Not get punched in the face ourselves too much. And we'll see. Yeah, I was told also that uh, there is unfortunately no skill. Like, so uh, Great Scythe, you know, and a lot of other skills lead us right into our level three heavy there, right? The one that we go when we go light, 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 heavy, heavy, right? That fifth one there. A lot of the skills will lead us into that, which is great because that's our biggest, like, single target damage. But we have the uh, light, light, heavy, heavy, right? Which is kind of an AoE. And I was wondering if there was any quick way to get to that, but it seems like the quickest way is just dodge cancel it. The lights, basically, right? Going light dodge, light dodge, heavy dodge, and then do the final heavy there. Which is still fine, but it is a bit of a shame. I would have liked if I could just instantly skip to it. Kind of like how I can do this, right? Like that's that's awfully fast. Get link attack. Get wrecked. Back attack, I guess we do. We do. Uh, we would like to angle for hitting him in the back, right? Because we do have uh, a couple of the different things that buff our back attack. Oh, wait, did I? Why is it taking no damage? Did I hit? The, did it count as? Oh, I did great scythe and I didn't notice. Did that count as me hitting him in the shield for some reason? Okay, well, now that we don't have this, we might as well just do some AoE heavies here until Great Scythe is back. Yeah, we can cancel that light there, right? And then go right into the heavy a little bit quicker. So that's still good. Still worthwhile. Worth doing. Bonk. Bonk. Who's he? Who's he hitting? It's not me. Oh, I guess I'm not going to complain. If he wants to just miss. Wait. Oh, man. Okay, let's, at least we can we can catch back up to them with battalions, nice and quick. Wait, we did, that did the damage, even though I, like that one I expected would do reduced damage, because it definitely looks like we hit him in the shield, right? Okay, great slice back, wonderful. One of these. Yeah, like uh, I I feel like maybe I could be a little bit more aggressive with uh, charging, right, more often. But a lot of the times when I do it, yeah, it feels like I kind of end up. Well, that's good. We we did get that parry there, which is very good. But a lot of the times, it feels like I just end up kind of getting smacked for it, right? Outside of, obviously, really big windows, like if there's a break or something. But I guess things like what we just did there, like the uh, using the charge heavy for a parry, that's going to start becoming very important. Are we reaching here? No, okay. Trying to get a quick, you know, over time we'll get a better idea intuitively of, like, our, our depth perception there, right? And where we can and can't actually hit people. Just going to be overdrive? Yeah. I think we can still... No, he knocked us out of it. I was like, I think we can still reach him, but he did just knock us out. Of, uh, of our charge stance. Whoop! There you go. Nice, perfect dodge. But yeah, I guess uh, if I really do want to, to charge more often, using the heavy as a parry is probably going to be... Oh, I tried to do it there, but I failed. It's probably going to be uh, a big deal, right? Um, all right, well, I guess we can just... He's not in Bloodthirst anymore, so I guess we can just do this to get our uh, a, a chance to beat him up a little bit. I do like using the Skybound Darts basically not really as damage at all, but just as a way to get an extra stun or break or just one of those big windows of opportunity on the boss, right? I don't know, because I feel like the damage they do is actually not even super relevant. I get the sense, anyone? Oh, he didn't get Link time, that's fine. I tried to... I, I got out of my charge there because I wanted to potentially get the Link, but it seems not. Where'd he go? Okay, well, at least Voss still knows where he is, even if I don't. Alright, and one of these, and then a perfect dodge? No. Okay, but I'll dodge, at least. There's, you know, that's, that's something. We're on, the right, we're on the right track. Oh, Link Attack. Don't mind if I do. Okay, and now, don't mind if I slow you. And then this will be a nice, quick, full charge heavy here. Into another nice, quick, full charge heavy. Because Link Time is just broken like that. Wonderful. Into another Link Attack. Oh yeah, I don't need to... I keep doing that. I keep wanting to instinctually, after I do the Link Attack, I like cancel another Great Scythe. But it, it takes me... The Link Attack already takes me straight to a heavy, right? So there's no, there's no real point to there. Uh, get bonked. Oh! 
Okay, okay, that's fine. We did the bad roll there. I think that's something that also, unless you really have to, I feel like that's uh, something that in the harder fights is going to start biting us in the butt, right? My habit of like, I roll too much in a row and then I get the one that's that holds you in place. There's got to be boss patterns that are basically expressly designed to punish you for that exact thing, right? So we're going to have to be careful about that. Building some bad habits there, potentially. Come back here. Bonk. Right in the back. How does it feel? Right in the shield, apparently. I, I, I disagree that that hit him in the shield, but... You know, the game is the final arbiter of truth, unfortunately. Though I might disagree. Bigger bonk. Yeah, I guess uh, I, I was... I, I had a discussion with somebody. I was like, is, is Battalions of Fear still worth having? Uh, even if the... Like, it, basically, its role of getting you to stick to people, right? Is done by the light-heavy-heavy -heavy combo there, too. But, I mean... They, 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 they said yes, just because it's uh, it's still another move that lets you cancel into a charge heavy. The fact that it goes on cooldown, though, like, I, I can't cancel it, like, even if I cancel it as fast as I can, like I just did right there, it still goes on cooldown, right? So, I'm not entirely sure that it's its job as a skill to be cancelled, or to cancel into a level 3, is, like, that useful. But, I guess the mobility is still useful, right, against bosses that are running around a lot. Like, it is still a lot faster, definitely. Than, uh, than our light heavy heavy combo. I do just worry still that maybe there could be, you know, like having a whole other skill there. Like it doing a job that we could already do slightly better or even significantly better, so. I, I wonder if that's not worth the same as just having a whole new ability, right? That could be slotted into that. All right, and then one more large bonk. We might actually clear this within eight minutes, especially if we get this link here. No, nope, it, is, it is not a team player. He's still learning. Give him some time. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I want to roll that. I didn't roll that. Okay, let's, let's not get uh, critical here. If we can help it. Where's the link attack? Oh, my. I got baited. I was like, wait, I see link. I want, And I kept hitting B and nothing happened. Okay, well, we entered critical once. Let's uh, pray we do not alter it further. Type B. Thanks for the help, folks. We'll get, we'll get the, the link on him, I guess, right here. Yep. There you go. This is good stuff. This is very good stuff. Big hit. 37k. We love to see it. And then one in the back, hopefully, for even more damage. 42k. Yeah. I mean, that might be... Someone did tell me also that until you hit damage cap, basically, you get kind of... You have a damage range, not a not an actual, like, guaranteed, calculated damage number. So there is going to just be some variation there. Oh, what the hell? He just fell over? I, I mean, yeah, if you want to roll over and die, you're not going to catch me complaining. Let's give him a big ol' bonk to end this. One of these. There you go. That was actually, yeah, we, we cleared that in eight minutes uh, rather comfortably, I think. I don't think we were even that close. He is dead, right? Yeah, okay, okay. I was like, this isn't like, this doesn't trigger his second phase or something. Am I about to look the fool? But no. Uh, yeah, we, I mean, we cleared that in like five minutes, right? I mean, that's the uh, the Vasaraga difference there, I think. Right? Uh, these, these sorts of boss fights where we can just kind of sit back and uh, charge as much as we can, I think are going to be pretty easy to, like, we're not going to struggle with DPS unless we're just very outleveled. Oh no, it was four minutes. Was the was the really big goal. Okay, okay. We weren't that far off that either, to be fair. But yeah. Still uh still definitely could have been done a little bit better, I suppose. Gaming expert. I don't know. Like, is there a way to know like what any of these mean? Because I do not. Like last hit, okay, last hit I can figure that one out. Link starter, I can figure that one out. Ninja? I don't know. I smell weakness, hitting debuffed enemies. Maybe I'm not. I'm not sure. Again, a lot of this is just the, uh, you know, because I'm sure like those. Those um, you can aim to do those to get as many of those little tags on yourself as possible to increase your ranking, right? But some of them are not super obvious as to what they actually, how to actually uh, get them. Uh, some stamina, stamina, stamina. What? What does that mean? I've never seen that. It's not like a stat on anyone, is it? It's not health. Is it skill cooldowns? Maybe? Does it make skill cool? But no, we already have the... It's it's uh, quick cooldown or whatever it's called, right? What the hell is stamina? Gear. Let's see. If I, oh, yeah. We also have an extra sigil slot. I've, I've forgotten. Uh, stamina, 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 stamina. Hello. What is stamina? Trade details. Boost attack based on how high your health is. Interesting. Probably not something that we care about too much especially if we're going to be in those it's it kind of has some counter synergy well yeah, enmity that sounds more right yeah because it has some counter synergy with vasaraga i think in terms of uh the times where you know in tough fights we might be undying and just swinging around this sounds a little bit more up our alley um so like how, what are the actual numbers on this for example trait details 
uh, enmity. Boost attack by a max of 26%. So if we are at 1 HP, which we can guarantee as Voss, right? Then we get 26% more attack. That's not bad. Uh, let's say, yeah, well, let's, uh, we're, we're probably going to transition to Story Corner here pretty soon because we're about at 50 minutes, but let's quickly take a look and see if we can, what our sigil setup is looking like. So we have Exploiter, right, for back attack. Combo finisher, I assume, basically just, yeah, I mean, that's got to be good, right? I mean, that boosts the damage of our heavies uh, by, by a percentage as well, right? So, though it is, maybe 8% is not super useful, but as it levels up, that, that should be pretty good. Cascade, I feel like... I feel like I haven't been super, like, I haven't really noticed this. I feel like I've never been, like, oh my, like, uh, I, I I use, you know, Undying, uh, Immortal Pain is the name of the skill, right? Or the Umbral Eclipse uh, to slow people. And then, like, I hit a bunch of people and I'm like, wow, this it's already back. But I guess it's also only level two, right? But I don't know, I don't know. This is, I'm not super sold on this one right now. Maybe it's better than I give it credit for, but charge speed of SBA, get Krabby Residence. Raises trade level based on... We pincers rescued. You then gain the associated effects. Oh my god, it's the collectors. What is this? Okay, is this bad? This looks like this looks bad. Yeah, it's does it ever become a percentage scaling? No. Okay, I think this is bad, right? I mean a thousand attack is, is surely that's a big number right now, but if, if you if you have found 45 we pincers, you've probably been playing the game for long enough that this because percentage scaling seems to be much more worthwhile, right? Uh, as as your numbers get bigger and your weapons get bigger and things like that. Like 50% of damage is probably a lot bigger than a thousand attack in the end game, is my guess. So this doesn't this seems like a bit of a, a bit of a meme. But if you really want to go full crab build, then I guess that's your right. Um Aegis, right? It raises maximum health proportional to your current maximum health, that's fine. Crit damage. Well, okay, I'm I'm curious because this will tell me the base. So what is crit Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't say. I thought maybe it would uh, show the total damage boost, right? Like if crit damage baseline was like 200%, then the plus 5% there would say like 205%, but no, it doesn't tell me. I am curious about crits because I don't fully understand how they work. Like what is a critical hit exactly, right? Is a critical hit double damage and ignores defense? Is a critical hit triple damage and doesn't ignore defense? Is a critical hit triggers the elemental weakness even if you aren't the elemental weakness, right? I, I don't know. I have no idea. So I, I figured maybe this could help me, give me some... Uh, some some insight into that, but it seems not. Yeah, I mean, none of our citizens are particularly goaded right now. Like we could we could right now uh, go into Sierra's shop and probably just you know get a sigil that is better than everything that we currently have, since a lot of these are not you know they're from the story mode, not from the end game. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess rupee tech. I mean, as silly as it sounds, right? How, how many more, how many more rupees is this? Two percent. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah, it's maybe maybe like I mean, eventually when we're just farming, like I'm sure that's when we're going on easy missions and we just want resources, that sigil is going to become very important. But for now, I mean, I don't think I uh, I necessarily uh, give too many dams. Uh, we'll, we'll just you know what? Let's just let's just do this. And uh, even if that's we'll, we'll we'll deal with our sigils at a later date when we have actual better sigils to worry about to, to begin with. All right, but yeah, so I guess this is, uh, in a way, definitely the start of the, the post game in terms of just, you know, we are pretty much just going to be spending the rest of our life here uh, in this little side quest corner, right? Uh, the alliance counter, yeah, the quest counter for the Rafaeli alliance. So this is good, right? Again, I, I, I'm I'm looking forward to this. I know some people, you might only, like, now there's not necessarily as many cutscenes and things like that. You might not have the same sort of uh, interest, but that's fine. I, I'm just really happy to uh, get... Like, this is original. Like, I mentioned that I think in the last episode. But this is originally like why I bought the game. As I heard, like, oh, this is just it's Monster Hunter. You go to your little quest counter over there, and it's but but you're playing as Grand Blue character. Sounds like that sounds like a lot of fun. So this uh, being the start of uh, this very long, or so I've heard, journey of just you know trying to grind everything to max level, or at least Vassaraga. We're not going to get everything to max level. But, you know, getting Vassaraga's best weapon, getting you know the best build for him, doing some end game raids or something. I mean, Lucillus is coming out on Thursday, which is hold on, is this is today Thursday for you guys? It might be, right? I think I just, I, uh, yeah, I think I uh, didn't notice that. Yeah, today is Thursday for you guys, isn't it? Yeah, so Lucilis is out already, and I can't play him. I can't fight him yet because, I mean, wh what do you want from me? I'm level 48. But yeah, eventually getting to all that endgame content will be a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, we're going to transition to our story corner now. Uh, so for all of you non-story interested folks, I'm going to run you through the outro here, and then we'll go from there. So as always, uh, if you made it to this far in the video, I have four things for you. You know how it is. For number one, uh, join the Discord server. It's a link in description down there. It's a bunch of nice folks talking about fighting games, talking about Relink, talking about gotcha games, talking about uh, people were talking about Rey Mysterio uh, a, a little bit ago there. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a community to do whatever you'd like and hang out with some nice people. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's very nice and welcoming right now. And I haven't really had to do any moderation at all. So I implore you that if you are going to join, 
keep it nice and welcoming and friendly. And you know, don't be the first person that I ever have to ban. Right? That's uh, that's not a that's not a fate or a reputation that you want to have. Uh, in any case, for number two, if you liked the video, and I sure hope you did, get down there and like the damn video, man. Come on, it's free. It don't cost you nothing. Really have to the channel, and I appreciate it a lot, of course. Uh, while you're down there, for number three, that subscribe button and that bell button. They're roughly far away over there. I'm on the wrong side of the screen to point at them, but we'll keep you up to date with all of this content here. We got two videos a day coming out right now at noon p.m. is, uh, you know, more fighting game-centric content. That's a good time. Uh, and then, obviously, 7 p.m. here is the relink time slot, which is going to be going on for a while, I think, until we, you know, feel satisfied that we have gotten everything we wanted out of our, our, our game as far as Vassaraga. So it's like two hours of content coming out a day. So make sure you stay up to date with that by hitting those two buttons. And of course, most importantly, for number four, what, more important than whatever buttons you smash, whatever algorithm friendly interactions you hit me with, I appreciate those as always. But I hope you had a great time hanging out today. Most of all, I know I sure did, right? But yeah, having a lot of fun with Relink and the beginning of the post game seemingly here. Uh, and otherwise, I will, there's gonna be a lot more content coming your way and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Wait, story corner, guys. Don't go. Guys, I almost forgot for a second. I almost stopped the recording. I, my outro was, I, I almost got myself convinced. We still got we still got stuff to do. Uh, all right, all right. So, uh, I guess fade episodes, right? We got some fade episodes to do. We got, I think, new fade episodes for everyone for finishing the main story. So, let us, uh, well, obviously, Basaraga over here, he takes precedence. Uh, okay, so now we're just going to be limited, I think, by our character level, right? So, we know for a fact, pretty much, that... Um, we, can, we have two Vasaraga Fate episodes to watch because we've got this one and then we are at level 40 and we'll have finished episode 6. So, wonderful. All right, well, we have two Vas Fate episodes here to go through. He, This is still, I suppose, relating to that girl, right? Irene, uh, the the Erun, Eruness, who, uh, again, was she had a garden of some kind that seems to be just haunted by the specter of death. And we noticed something that seemed to be watching her and this mist that follows her, but we haven't really been able to pin anything down yet. Let's see. Let's see if uh, Vasaraga can fig figure out any more stuff this time. That's good, Lyria and Fern. Help her cheer up a little bit. She's very sad. Wow, um, these vegetables are very... unique. Yes, unique. Okay, that's a bad start. I brought Vern and Lyria with me in hopes of lifting Irene's spirits. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's exactly. Vasaraga, I mean, he, he's, a, he's a kind fellow, right? But he's, he's not like, he's not id. Right. Well, I mean, it's nice too, but I'm saying in terms of just being, Vasaraga, I think could lift someone's spirits, but he's also a little scary looking, right? So Ver Vern and Lyria can can do a better job How of that. Can I make think. a tomato look like a shriveled bone. That's talent, I guess. Okay. Well, maybe Vern is a little too blunt. Vern was, for better or worse, brutally honest. Now, who did that remind me of? Oh yeah, Zeta. Awesome. Vern, don't be rude. It's fine, Lyria. He's not wrong. Damn it, Vert. You, you had one job, man. Make the girl feel better about herself. And you have immediately done the exact opposite. Though she had every right to be offended, Irene took the comment in stride. Our two most carefree members of the crew seem to be rubbing off on her. That's good. Yes, it was the right call to bring them. I'm not the best at brightening the mood. Yeah. I mean, basically repeating what I said earlier, yes. So Vasaraga told us about your plan. You want them to grow big and healthy, but they keep withering, right? Indeed. Yes. Oh no, my happy music. After a moment of silence, Lyria gave Irene a sympathetic smile, encouraging the girl to divulge her feelings. She began to perk up. Okay. <laughs> Guess Zeta was right. It really is easier to share your worries with someone closer to your age. I, like, I, yeah, I guess, I guess. But I don't know necessarily that that, like, I don't think that the main difference between you and Lyria is her being younger, right? I mean, she's just like, he's, he's so, you know, nice and cutesy and kind. Like, not the boss, again, not the boss guy isn't kind, but I mean, look at him. He's a scary looking boy. He's just, I, I love my big boy, but he looks a little scary. Taking care of those little ones is my purpose in life. Interesting. She went on to recount how she had always been a loner. From a young age, her only friends were the plants she cared for. That's unfortunate, but I mean... She's happy, she's happy. Recently, she had discovered that she could hear her plants talk, though she had no idea how or why. What the hell? But now, it's like my precious friends are fading away, one by one. I don't know how much more of this I can take. She can hear the plants talk, huh? Not long after she had gained the ability to communicate with her cherished plants, they suddenly began to wither and die one after another. I wonder if it's connected somehow then. She could hear them wail in agony as they reached their end. It was no surprise that she soon reached her breaking point. 
And that does sound, I guess it's, it's kind of strange to think about considering they're plants. But yeah, I mean, if you can, if you literally hear the like death screams all day around you, you're basically in a war zone, right? So it makes sense that she uh, was a little depressed. The few are still alive, but I'm sure they'll join the others in no time. If this is all that's waiting for me in the future, then I would rather not live to see it. And we're back here. This is unfortunate. Watching the lives of your loved ones slip out of your fingers? I could relate to that. Damn. Damn. What was she supposed to do? Distance herself from her reason for living? Wasn't that as good as dying? This is like... This is some, some good questions, man, I guess. Yeah, like... I I I have to like I don't I don't have anything off the cuff for this one right it's just it's this idea of, I mean obviously again you, you, the, right now we're talking about plants for a fake girl in a in a video game right but the, this is the, the the point of this sort of stuff is to try and you know take these narratives as things to learn from right but this is a this is a tough example right like if it, being around something that you love is causing you pain but if that exactly if it's that if it's your entire reason to be around well then what is is it worth sparing yourself from that pain? Is it better to have? This is this is a, this is kind of silly, right? But it is this the, the better to have loved than lost than to have not loved at all or something. I eyed the black mist. Right, it's always swirling around her. Look, there's got to be a way to fix things. What? But I've tried everything. Not everything. Squeezing her bandaged wrist, Irene looked up at me in confusion. <laughs> ah. Ugh. I did my best to reassure her without betraying the worry gnawing at my mind. Tried everything and then she squeezes an area where she uh, may have, you know, hurt herself. Hopefully not. Hopefully that's not what that is. Hopefully that's something else. All right, well, we have we have one more here, so let's see. They they bring them to the garden. <laughs> Look at him holding the piece of paper. I'm surprised that I, that's a big piece of paper, huh? That must be like What happened here? Very large. Oh no. I had stopped by Irene's garden after finishing our quest, only to find every single leaf and stem had turned black and rotted. Okay, things are getting worse before they get better. It felt as unnatural, they tend to do. Like something had completely sucked the life from what should have been a thriving patch of greenery. That sounds that tracks what we've seen Filled so with far. With dread, I rushed inside the house, but Irene was nowhere in sight. It was then that I noticed a letter on the floor. Uh oh. To the blasphemer who betrayed Avia. You should know that Lady Lilith wished to bathe the skies in destruction. What the hell? Avia is involved in this? Lilith is it? What? I. This is. I did not. Maybe I'm stupid, but I did. I, I thought this was going to be a slightly smaller scale issue. Have you not yet realized that clinging to life is folly? That living is a sacrilege to all we preach? What the hell? You have two choices before you. Watch as that forbidden implement spreads darkness to all those innocent folk living around you. Or return to Avia and repent. Forbidden implement. So Irene had ties to the Church of Avia, and they'd fitted her with some sort of cruel device. Reminded me of Lyria and the Mind Sealer. Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, she seems to have free will. Doesn't seem to be following anyone's commands, necessarily. If they had hurt Irene like they hurt Lyria... Damn, thought I'd finally dealt with this pain, but there I was, failing to protect yet another innocent life. It's not, I mean, you literally had no idea, but well, I guess, I, I, I get Rooting it. But... on it for too long wasn't going to bring Irene back. Yeah, okay, that's, so let's at least be productive. So scoured the town. Avia always had a flair for drama, but I detected no commotion in town. Hmm. Which means... Bastard snuck away in a ship. Knowing there were precious few minutes to trail them, I rushed to the port. Interesting. This is all like, this a completely different side story here, basically, that happens at the same time as uh, the actual main story. Alright, well, we have to get to level 50 to unlock the next one. And then once we get to level 60, we can finish all of them off. Alright, yeah, and level 50 is a boss fight. Presumably to save Irene from over-kidnapped Interesting. Oh, id. We can. Oh, we can do a lot for id right away. We can do seven. Fa okay. Well, uh, we'll we'll do id over a couple of uh, story corners then. We'll we'll start with him next time possibly. But for now, I suppose let's uh 
let's let's finish uh, these for Catalina here because that's where we're already pretty well on the way. Then we'll do Id next time, probably over a couple of story corners, depending on how long his are. And then we'll probably finish off some of the loose ends for the captain and things like that. And then we'll keep going with Rock'em. We're kind of, we're jumping around a little bit, but again, we'll, we'll get to all of it in due time. Another letter from Al arrived. Hello, Al. Hazel had fully recovered and was bouncing about with unbridled energy. Al had returned to work on the reconstruction site and was working twice as hard to make up for lost time. Why are you guys look so sad then? I mean, I know it is definitely a little sad that he's working, but... Uh, is it just me, or is his writing messier? It wasn't just Vern. Really? Not only were there more missing words and misspellings than usual, the lines of Al's letters were harsh and tangled. Evidently, he'd scrawled them in a great hurry between jobs. Yeah, I guess he's just really busy. I got a bad feeling that next up, it's going to be Al himself stuck in bed. Or that, I guess. Yeah, he needs the windcrest. I shared Vern's sentiment. This was a boy willing to pick herbs from death's very garden for his sister. There was not an ounce of self-restraint in his character. Oh, I see. Now they're just saying that he's going to basically work himself to death. I could only hope yeah. that he would emerge from this trial unscathed. That was quick. These, uh, these last few Catalina ones have been very quick. This letter and this uh, and this one too. Let's see. Well, we can definitely finish this next one here and then have that be the last one for the episode. But I'm curious. This, uh, this all centers around this boy. Reading Al's third letter made my head buzz and my hands go numb. Uh oh. Help! Hazel got sick again. Doctor says he don't know what's happened. The medicine we made don't work no more. What do we do? I was worried about this. Like I was like, is this like uh, very way back at the beginning we were getting the windcrest? I was like, is this is gonna like we we have the we have the herb. Do we know for sure this it is gonna work? Me that I, a skyfarer they had only met once, was all the help these children had left to turn to. Hmm. Catalina, I'm worried about Hazel. Lyria, who had been reading over my shoulder, looked as pale as death, and I thought I heard the fierce thudding of her heart. Let's head back to Folka. Very quickly. empathetic of them. I mean, like, obviously, it's, it's, it's a sad thing, but like to be so genuinely uh, moved and worried about somebody that realistically you still don't really know is still uh, very admirable. We learned not long afterwards that the captain, who at times seemed to command a sixth sense, had already asked Rackham to set course for the city. Look at us. Al, Hazel, don't lose hope. Help is on the way. Oh, okay, and that's it, huh? And so I guess uh, whatever happens next time, we will we will learn in this quest mission here. Is it? I mean, is everyone, bro, is everyone possessed? Like we have uh, Vasaraga's got Irene there, who uh, again seems to have some sort of darkness swirling around her. There, we're, we're about to seemingly fight something to save this little girl, uh, Hazel, in Catalina's possession is, is rampant. Okay, so next time we'll probably uh, start with it and just try and probably we can do everything maybe up until this. Right, like we can do, uh, well, well, we probably can't get this one done in the next story corner, but yeah, then the next, the, the one after that, we can basically finish off everything we have access to. Uh, very interested in it as well, actually. I mean, obviously he's very related to the story here, but there's a lot that we don't know about him. So the, uh, the idea of getting to learn a bit more about his backstory is something that strikes me as quite interesting. Uh, but yeah, all right. Well, uh, you guys know how it is, as always. Uh, we, I'm not going to run you through the whole outro here because you guys already heard it. But interesting to get uh, deeper into these fate episodes, right? And start seeing the the plots kind of come to a head, right? And potentially, hopefully, resolve themselves soon. But yeah, uh, having a lot of fun learning more about the characters in the story and just playing Relink in general. There's going to be a lot more coming your way. But until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.